I would like to tell you something about the larynx cancer or voice box cancer. Voice box is an organ which is situated in the neck and it is an organ which helps in production of the voice. It is a gateway for the lungs means when we breathe it goes through the voice box that is vocal cord. So it prevents the food from entering into the lungs. So it is a basic function like if we don't speak then how will we live? It's the question comes arises here. Then if a cancer of the voice box occurs then what do we have? We have change in voice, we have hoarseness of voice, we will have difficulty in swallowing, we might cough out blood, we might have lump in the neck. So if these symptoms are there then we need to consult, consult a doctor, ENT specialist or a head and neck cancer specialist to see whether this problem is there or not. What we do is we put a small lighted tube inside the throat and look for whether any a suspicious uh, uh, ulcer is there in the throat or not. If it is there, we might take a small piece and send it for biopsy. Then after that, when biopsy comes, we do a CT scan or MRI to find out whether uh, cancer is limited to this area or whether it is extending to other parts of the body or not. After that, we decide on whether patient requires localized therapy like radiotherapy or endolaryngeal cancer surgery. That is, in this operation, patient doesn't get any cut in, in the neck or in the mouth. Only we use endoscope, we pass it through the mouth into the voice box and by using laser machine, we remove the cancer on the vocal cord and the patient is discharged in second to third day. So that's the beauty of this laser treatment of the voice box. Other treatment, if cancer becomes advanced and involves the Adam's apple or the voice, uh, the bone of the voice box, then we need to remove the whole of the voice box. And when we remove the whole of the voice box, the question is, then how will we live in the society? How will, can we speak or not? No, we can speak. We have methods by which we can make the patient speak. We have a voice process which we put so that patient can communicate well to his uh, fellow beings and live a near natural life. And after that, if patient requires radiotherapy or chemotherapy. These are the X-ray generated waves which kills the cancer cells and drugs uh, which kills the cancer cells. They might be required. And if this is required, the patient might be cured of it. After this treatment is over, patient has to come on regular follow-up for two to three months. We do endoscopy to find out anything is wrong in there or not. And after that, patients remain in follow-up for at least five years. After five years, we said say that you are cured of this disease. So after surgery, patient uh, might require radiotherapy and chemotherapy. Means the rays of x-rays which is used to kill the cancer cells and the drugs which are used to kill the cancer cells might be required after surgery. So if after this treatment is over, patient has to come for two monthly or three monthly checkup for two years. Then after that, after five years, we say that patient is cured of the disease. So in the end, my sincere advice would be to avoid this habit of smoking and uh, tobacco chewing which are the main causative agent for this development of cancer. And if you have these symptoms, please do come to us. We are ready to help you. Thank you.